Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this particular mini series, as we all know, we are learning what exactly are Turing machines. So let's continue solving some more problems based on Turing machines. So let's get started. So let's decipher the problem we are having in front of us. We need to create a Turing machine for a problem such as L is equal to X. Nothing more given. Where N A of X, that is, we are going to read it as number of A's present in X is equal to number of B's present in X. Or in simple terms, we can say that in this particular problem, it is expecting us to create a Turing machine for a is equal to b that is number of a's should be equal to number of b's so for solving such a problem i have uh, written an example over here it is nothing but i am considering this example b b a a b a you can see number of a's and b's are same it doesn't have any particular order it can take any sequence it can either start with a it can either start with b or whatever so we need to create a machine for this so very first thing is we need to have a logic what logic I have in mind may differ from whatever logic you may be having. Uh, at this point of time, I'm sticking to one particular logic. You can start using this logic and then think of any other logic if possible. Okay. So what I'm trying to do is initially the machine will be pointing to the very first value, which is B over here. So according to my logic, I am not at all concerned with the B value. What I'm concerned is I will try to find out the very first A, wherever it is present. So what exactly will happen is, whenever the machine encounters a B, it will bypass that B and move the pointer to the right. Again, the next value is also a B. It will again bypass it. It will remain in the same state and move the pointer to the right. Whenever it encounters an A, it will simply replace it by a character star and move the pointer to the right. The first A has been read, it has been replaced by a star and the pointer is now pointing to the next A. What the machine should do now? The machine should simply bypass it, move the pointer, bypass every character present in between until it reaches the blank symbol. Whenever it reaches the blank symbol, keep the blank as it is and start moving to the left from that position. Okay, clear till here. So what exactly I have done is, Irrespective of B's, I am simply bypassing the B's. I will simply try to find out the first A character. Whenever that A has been found out, replace it by a star and move the pointer to the right, bypassing every other character that follows until we reach the blank symbol and start moving to the left. So while moving to the left, now I have already found out an A. So what should I do next? It's very simple. If I have an A, I should find out the corresponding B. So as per our logic, we have already converted an A into a star. So now we are in the lookout of a B. So what we will do next is, while coming back from this blank symbol to the left, I will bypass all the A values present in between, if they are present, and try to find out the first B character. As soon as I find the first B character, I will replace it by star again and keep on moving to the left by bypassing every other character that follows until we reach the leftmost blank symbol over here. Leftmost as in the very first blank symbol while moving to the left. Clear? So after the first iteration, what we are left with? We are left with something like this. That is blank followed by B, B, as we know the first A symbol has been converted to a star now, then A followed by one more star because while coming back, we had converted this B to a, a star and so on. So we are left with this particular value after first iteration. Where is the pointer right now? Can you tell me? The pointer is pointing at this blank because we are again restarting the entire machine this entire process will keep on continuing. So what should we do next? We are going to bypass this B, obviously. Again, this will be bypassed. This star will be bypassed also. We are interested in converting this A into a star. So we'll convert this A into a star. 
keep on bypassing every other character that follows until we reach this blank symbol start moving to the left from here bypass every other character that falls in between until we reach this first small b symbol so what we should do next we should convert it again into a star and keep moving to the left until we reach the blank symbol okay so now after reaching the blank start moving again to the right so after this second iteration we are left with something like this clear and the pointer is now pointing over here we'll again repeat the entire process we'll bypass this small b we'll try to find out the first a which is in between again you have to bypass every other character i'm not showing the entire things once again so replace this a by a star move right till this blank is reached replace it by the same character itself and start moving left until we find the first b in the path where we are moving so replace it by star go to the left replace this blank by blank only move right so this is where we are present right now so now my pointer is pointing at this particular star so what we should do next as you remember in the previous problem we had a check state so over here also we will be having a check state we will check whether any more characters are left reading out okay so we will replace the star by a star move right over here what we should do we should again keep on checking whether any more further character is left we'll keep on doing this until we reach the blank symbol when we reach the blank symbol we know that we have reached the end of the string and no further characters was left in, was left in between so what we should do next after reaching the blank symbol we'll again check from the other end in the previous uh, uh, step what we did we checked from left to right now we will do the entire process in the reverse order we'll check from right to left and check whether any more further characters are left so while coming back to the left i will bypass every other character until i reach this blank why we are doing so to check whether any more characters are left in between so at the end of these two steps we will be sure that no further characters are left and then we will be in a position to directly move to the final state qf the things will be very much clear to you if we check the transition diagram over here so have a look at the transition diagram this is how the things actually work i am in state q0 from q0 what exactly i am trying to find i am trying to find the first a right so to find the very first a i am bypassing every character that follows in between just find the first a replace it by star and move to the right similarly while moving to the right what is the very next thing which we need to find out we are trying to find out the blank symbol that is while moving to the right after converting the a to a star we are moving to the right and bypassing every other character that is following in between until we reach the blank so that is the very uh, thing we are doing over here we are bypassing every other character in between that is it might be an a it might be a b it might be a star we are bypassing every character until we reach the blank symbol when we reach the blank symbol we keep it as it is and start moving to the left so this is what we are doing we are now coming back to the left and trying to find out the next symbol that is a corresponding b to the a okay so we will be bypassing every character that falls in between while coming to the left we are only concerned with the character b if we find out the b we will replace it by star and keep moving to the left we will keep moving to the left by bypassing every character that follows after it until we reach the blank symbol when we reach the blank symbol one iteration becomes complete that is for one particular a we have successfully found the corresponding b this is one cycle which is going to be completed after the uh, after this particular transition we need to continue this further until all the symbols have been read from the input output tape clear so uh, once reading the entire content we will be uh, present in this particular uh, scenario that is we are done with all the inputs and in the state q0 we are now pointing to a star so what we should do next as i had told you we will once uh, make a complete uh check whether from left to right direction we are left with any more symbol so that is what we are doing over here that is in state 
q0 if i encounter a star i will keep on looping it in the state q0 only and keep on moving to the right this will continue till i reach the blank symbol once i reach the blank symbol i know that now i need to replace that blank by a blank and again start moving to the left this is what we call as the check state we had the same kind of scenario in the previous problem also if you have not checked my previous problem i would request you to kindly go back click on the cards mentioned above and check that particular video on turing machines okay so why we have this particular check state we simply have this because we need to cross check whether any more symbols are left in between so once while coming to the left i will again cross check each and every symbol if i don't receive any more symbol on the input output tape i will come to know that there are no more inputs left on the tape so what i will do now while coming to the left i will simply and i am expecting uh, only stars on the way back because all a's and b's have been replaced by stars so i will uh, keep on uh, taking the inputs as stars and moving the machine to the left until i reach the blank that is what is shown over here while coming back from here i will encounter only stars in between you can see only stars in between so i am not expecting any more symbol in between if i have any more symbol present in between it simply means i have taken some wrong input and that machine won't go to the final state in such a case but in ideal scenarios i will have only stars in the path i will accept all the stars keep moving to the left until i reach the blank symbol so this is what exactly happens so while moving to the left i will only encounter stars until i reach the blank symbol when i encounter a blank i will be quite sure that now no more inputs are left in the input output tape and i will jump to the final state by making a transition stop that is remain stationary at that point and don't move either left or right clear this is what we have done and this is the turing machine that needs to be constructed for any problem of this type that is number of a equal to number of b again okay, the last step is remaining which is transition table i have done nothing just have a look over here i will just show you one transition and then you can try to uh, complete the rest of the table let's consider this q0 state q0 state on input a is moving to q1 state with a replacement of a to star and moving to the right so basically what i can say is q0 state on input a goes to q1 state by changing the a input to a star and moving to the right you can cross check over here q0 state on input a replaces it by x goes to q1 state with a transition to the right the same way we can fill up the entire table wherever there are no transitions simply put a dash over there or you can write not applicable so this is how we construct a turing machine for problems such as number of a's equal to number of b's i hope you understood the entire concept of turing machine through this particular video if you like this video kindly like it share it among your friends so that they can also get benefited from this particular video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for further such updates thank you so much